Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing my preparation for winter with DAC. Um, officially, we could have already started on the 1st of December, but I wasn't home until today. So today is Monday the 6th of December, so I'll be starting uh, around a week later. Um, I'll be doing Red Riding Hood, as you can see. A gorgeous diamond painting by Hannah Lynn. And I don't expect to finish within the month of December because it's pretty big. And the month of December is going to be pretty busy. So what I'll be using for my preparation of winter with the AC is some washi tape to section off the top. I'll be using some container from the AC. These are 30 slot containers. Um, but this painting contains 40 colors, so I'll also be using some baggies. Um, and also use the baggies if the um, drill bucket is too full to fit into the container. Um, to label the container, I'll be using the sticker sheet that DAC provides you with. So I'll just cut out the um, symbol and the DMC number. Um, and this sticker I'll uh, place on top of the container so I know which drills they belong to But before I start getting up, let me know in the comments down below which campus you are working on for winter with the AC and Grab yourself a drink because this is going to be quite a long video. Okay, let's get started So I'm going to start off by cutting out all the symbols and the picture um, and I'll be placing them on the container and on the baggies. So as far as I've counted, I'm, I'll need uh, 10 baggies, but it will probably be more because there is a lot of color in this picture. I'm going to do that first and then I'll be right back. I've labeled everything. Um, as I previously said, I need 10 baggies, but I've grabbed some extra labels in because I expect to be needing more baggies for the spares that won't fit into the pot. Um, I'm just going to start with the first strip and see how far I get. Um, I've decided that for these colors, I will not put them in their baggies yet. I'll do that when I actually need them um, because that will save me time and a bit of space as of now. So I'll put these away, but I know I've labeled them correctly for the future. And I'll just start looking at what I can fit in these 30. So I have my diamonds here. So let's look at what the beginning of the strip is. And well, well, this is the end actually, but all those brown colors I won't use right now because those are 3371, which are in the plastic bag. So I'll put them to the side. Next one is 814 and 814 is in here. So I'll just grab the pot. And as you can see, those are not very big pots and this is a pretty big container. So I know I'll need another baggie. So I'll just grab one already. And I'm going to cut this one. I'll move this bit back. And I grab my small tray. Um, and I will put all the drills in a small tray, but I'll use the big tray to catch any drills that will fall out. So I'm just... I'm going to open the pot and carefully tip them in. And those are pretty full. And as you can see, I've already spilled quite a lot. So for the big containers or for the big bags, I know I won't be able to fit a lot of them in. So let's hope they will all fit in one baggie. Should be possible. Okay. 
Yes, they do fit. And this is why I use the big tray underneath because otherwise it will be a mess. At the time uh, of filming, it's currently 6th of December, which is a Monday, so I've just had a weekend. Um, in the Netherlands, we have a tradition of Sinterklaas. And Sinterklaas is basically a bit like Christmas. It's a bit like Santa Claus. Sinterklaas is also a guy with a long white beard and uh, also uh, dressed in red. So it's kind of comparable to that. Um, so we celebrated that and I've got a lot of nice presents. Uh, also, I got a diamond painting I received. So I look forward to starting that, but I have so many other pictures I need to finish first. Um, mainly the gifts for my parents. Uh, so the uh, Dreamer Designs kits, um, but also I have five, this will be my sixth whip currently so my sixth work in progress um so how's everyone's day going i hope you've had a good weekend by the time i upload it it's the weekend again because it's a saturday if everything goes well so i hope you've had a very nice weekend or have a very nice weekend and i hope you're looking forward to christmas because as we all know christmas is going to be quite different this year um which is sad uh, but on the other hand, in our family, Christmas isn't that big. Um, in the Netherlands, um, there is basically a division between the people who celebrate Sinterklaas and the people who celebrate Christmas. Um, there are some families who celebrate both, and usually it's one or two. So with my family, we're doing a secret Santa. So we've drawn a person for who we are getting gifts and for who we are writing a poem. Um, and um, we'll be uh, opening presents on Christmas so that's quite standard I think but in our house we also don't have a Christmas tree because we have six cats and um, six cats and a Christmas tree is not a very good combination I can tell you that is a pretty bad combination there won't be a Christmas tree after like a day or so. So yeah. Currently putting 321 in a baggie because as I expected this is already not fitting anymore. So from now on I know that this uh, storage is not ideal for DAC painting. Even though it's DAC storage I wouldn't say it's ideal to use on the I. DAC um, paintings, mainly because DAC usually um, has very big paintings and the um, pots are just not as big, so you really need, um, so I suggest you use a snack size painting with the um, storage containers they offer because otherwise it won't fit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up this, so I'm going to make it into a time lapse um, because, to be honest, my voice is hurting a bit and I don't have much to tell you as of now, so I'm just going to be making this into a time lapse and I'll see you once I'm done putting all the diamonds into a into their containers um, because the process is quite repetitive before I speed it up I have a question for you what do you like to do while kidding up do you listen to a podcast do you listen to Spotify do you watch YouTube do you watch like a whip and chat or do you watch Netflix or do you do something else I don't know um let me know i'm quite curious to see because i usually either watch like a stream on twitch or on youtube or catch up on some of my subscriptions um or i watch netflix because i don't know 
I don't like um, working in silence. Um, especially when diamond painting, I always have something on in the background. I always have something on. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite activity is while diamond painting and while kidding up. And then I'll see you once I've put everything in their pots. Hey, this is the first one that actually fits in the first small pot. That's good. Glad we don't need a baggie for everything. First AB, which is a very pretty green. I've also spotted the second AB in here, which is a gorgeous blue. So I'll be doing those two next. Numbers uh, three ten. Let's label our bag already. Three ten. And these bags are pretty full compared to the other ones that. I thought we're already pretty full, so one of the first I opened was 814, which I thought, well, it's pretty full already, but comparing it to the 498, it actually wasn't that full. So, oops, this one is a bit too full, but okay, we'll manage. And if you've bought the AC before, then you know that um, Hannah Lynn paintings and many Manzano paintings usually are full of black. So it isn't a surprise that this one contains a lot of black as well. Especially if you look at the image, looking at like black skirt and the black sleeves, black gloves, black boots. These are brown trees, but there's a lot of black in their uh, in their arms and in her skirts so no surprise there there are six bags of 310 and of course this is a pretty big painting as well so that also doesn't really help with the amount of black that's in there so yeah i don't think i've seen a uh, mandy or hannah painting without any black if you have seen it, let me know which ones they are, because I can't think of it. I really can't. And even with the big drill tray, I spill quite a lot, but that's okay. And like so... This is the last one. So as you can see, I've accumulated quite a few baggies, but most of them fit in their pot. Um, and I still need to fill these, but I'll do that once I actually need them. So then onto the sectioning. So let me clear this first and then I'll be right back. 
so I've brought you down quite a bit so you can see it better. So what I'll do is I'll use my washi tape and I'll line them up with the um, line I want to finish. So let's say I want about this much. I'll just put a line of washi tape down there. I know some people like to section it before they start. They like to section the whole painting. I don't like that. I just um, do horizontal rows or horizontal lines. And then um, when I actually diamond paint, I will see how big of a section um, lengthwise I want to do. So then I'll just um, either cut it off and then section or I don't section at all. But my horizontal sectioning is pretty useful. Um, there are some people that, that um, don't section at all. I wouldn't be able to do that because as this is a clear tape, it's very difficult to see where your plastic ends and where your canvas begins. So I think it's very useful to use some tape to mark off uh, your edges and clearly border them. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm going to start from right to left. I'm left-handed, so if I go from right to left, I can guide the tape best. So let's see. This around here seems pretty good. So I'll just place it on there and then I'll... I'm sorry if my head is in shot, um, because I need to be quite close up as well. And then just a straight line just underneath the trails. And then tear it off at the end. And this is how I section it. So just this line, I don't use any lines like this. Um, I don't do the next row because I just don't know how big of a section I'm feeling that day or that week or whenever and I just know I want a small beginning. Um, as I am left handed I do start at the top. So I start at the top right and then um, start on the left side so I work this way but then within a section I go that way because that's easiest because then you won't have your hands uh, resting on the drills and I find that can be quite uncomfortable so I wouldn't be able to work from bottom to top because then you would constantly have your hand resting on the um, already placed drills and I don't think that's very nice um, to work that way so that's how I do it um, and that is it for today's video if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos. Um, but for now, have a nice day. Bye!